Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Barack and Michelle humiliated. Roseanne crushes Obama's after they sign Netflix deal. Barack and Michelle Obama had a very bad weekend. Fresh off the announcement that they had signed a lucrative deal with Netflix, the couple was riding high. However, their bubble was burst by famous Trump supporter Roseanne Barr, who humiliated the former president and first lady by crushing their dreams moments after they signed the deal. Barack and Michelle Obama have entered into a multi-year agreement to produce new films and shows with Netflix. The former president and first lady are determined to produce a diverse mix of content, including a potential scripted series, an unscripted series, a docu-series, documentaries, and features, according to a press release from Netflix about the deal. According to Fox News, the streaming service revealed the projects will be available to their 125 million members in 190 countries and the couple established Higher Ground Productions, which will serve as the entity under which they will produce content for Netflix. One of the simple joys of our time in public service was getting to meet so many fascinating people from all walks of life, and to help them share their experiences with a wider audience, Barack Obama said in a statement. That's why Michelle and I are so excited to partner with Netflix, we hope to cultivate and curate the talented, inspiring, creative voices who are able to promote greater empathy and understanding between peoples, and help them share their stories with the entire world. Michelle Obama said the couple's willingness to pursue filming after their time in the White House was a no-brainer. Barack and I have always believed in the power of storytelling to inspire us, to make us think differently about the world around us, and to help us open our minds and hearts to others, she said. Netflix's unparalleled service is a natural fit for the kinds of stories we want to share, and we look forward to starting this exciting new partnership. Netflix chief content officer Ted Sarandos, an Obama mega-donor, said the streaming service is thrilled to have the Obamas as part of their creative team and are eager to see what the couple has to offer for viewers. Barack and Michelle Obama are among the world's most respected and highly recognized public figures and are uniquely positioned to discover and highlight stories of people who make a difference in their communities and strive to change the world for the better, explained Sarandos. We are incredibly proud they have chosen to make Netflix the home for their formidable storytelling abilities. Barack and Michelle Obama are raking in the cash, thanks to the influence of a former campaign supporter. The couple last week signed a creative production deal with Netflix that one entertainment industry source said could be valued at more than $50 million. Ted Sarandos, a major campaign contributor for Obama and the streaming giant's creative content chief who oversees an $8 billion budget, helped to broker the deal, the source told The Post. Sarandos and his wife, Nicole Avon, bundled nearly $600,000 in contributions to Obama from their friends and associates during the 2012 presidential campaign. The couple is friends with the Obamas, and Avon served as the U.S. ambassador to the Bahamas from 2009 to 2011, during the former president's first term. Her father, Clarence, a music exec, bundled a total of nearly $450,000 for Obama's presidential campaigns. Source, New York Post Comedian Roseanne Barr, who is among the most outspoken supporters of President Donald Trump in Hollywood, decided to weigh in on the announcement, as well. She created the hashtag hashtag Obama's Netflix shows on Twitter and asked her followers to come up with ideas for potential show ideas the Obamas could use. The hilarious responses which came pouring in were enough to ruin the Obama's weekend, and probably the rest of their month. The American people are sick and tired of the Obamas at this point. We were forced to put up with them for eight long years while they inhabited the White House. Now, we just like them to go away. It isn't typical for a former president and first lady to try so desperately to stay in the spotlight even after they leave the White House. We almost never hear from the Carters or the Bushes, unless they are doing some sort of bipartisan charity work. The Obamas, on the other hand, have seemingly been clamoring for every new photo op and paycheck they can get their hands on since they were booted from the People's House upon Trump's inauguration. $65 million book deal, lucrative speaking engagements, and a new partnership with Netflix. Did these people not get their fill after shamelessly spending taxpayer money for the better part of a decade? Apparently not. They're going to ride this gravy train as long as they possibly can. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.